do not try this at home if you're like not good with your hands or you're 17 and under. Hey everyone in YouTube land, it's Melissa and today I'm going to do something awesome. I decided that I would just get make a, a computer keyboard necklace. So here's what I'm doing and I'm basically doing it um, randomly. And I'm trying to be eco-friendly so whatever I do is something that I could find around the house maybe. But you get these. These are like, they cut really hard things. And then get a keyboard like this from, I got this at Goodwill for two dollars. So get that and then um, what you're gonna want to do, well like, I guess you could get a pen or whatever but I'm using a bobby pin and like what you do is like say I want to use that plus sign right there just like pop it out. <laughs> for my example today, I'm going to do, um, a, I'm going to make a necklace for my friend. Um, his name is Daniel, but he likes to be called Morte. So I'm going to make a Morte necklace. Um, so I popped out all the Mortes, and since there's one E, we could do the whole, like, um, you know, internet talk and, like, how they do the three, the number three as an E. Once you pop it out, you'll notice that, um... It's got this, and you can't really put that on a necklace. So that's why we have our Nintendo. That's why we have our scissors. And this is like the most difficult part. Like my hands have been like I've already done it. Just I'm just showing you how to do it, whatever. But um, like you have to make it even. Like if I can do it, like just cut that part off. See, it's still not even, so you have to cut it until you kind of get it even. On the necklace, it's going to look like that. I don't know if you could see it or not. Is I am super gluing the very edge of the um, word that I'm trying to spell out and just super gluing them together. For so the next part, you're going to want a pair of scissors, some thing called goop and um, a piece of wood that's like really thin and like breakable and stuff. So you're gonna get your word that you glued together and you're gonna glue it on. You're gonna use the goop and glue it on to the wood. And we're using wood because it's really cool and it reminds me of like old school stuff. I let this dry for the whole night. After you're done, just cut it out because it's so thin, you can just, it's like paper. You can just cut it off. Watch. There you have it. You might want to just clean it up a little bit and just take off the sides. So, um, or make it look a little bit done. So there's Muerte with the back wood. Um, it looks pretty kick-ass. Um, I'm going to continue on with my name. Uh, there it is. Yeah, keep it playa, keep it pimp. Go buy some wire. It's called copper wire. And what you do is you're going to put it on in between these two. And put it over this. Like that. And kind of bend it at the top. And then bend it around. To the back and kind of cut them even here twist it or twist it and kind of make it straight and even and then do the exact same thing for the other side here's the back here's the front and they're kind of s together, kind of together. Okay, so then you get your chain. I don't know if I told you to get a chain, but get a chain and cut it to your size. You get them together and you put one little circle thing in there. Okay, so now 
it's kind of attached. It kind of looks kind of, I mean, it's not going to be perfect or whatever, but it's attached. And I don't know if you could see, but here is a little leftover. Just cut it off. Okay, and then do the exact same thing to the opposite side. Yay! And there you go, you have your necklace, and it's done. So now I can put it on and be gangsta. Except now I think it's too long, so I might have to fix it. Let's see if I can keep it gangsta with my name chain. Mmm, what? <gasps> Look at my necklace! <laughs> I did it, I shortened it. Which way does it go? This way, I shortened it.